Well, you know, the thing about Gibbons is that he is not a completely individual composer. He sort of straddles the era of delicious anonymity that the pre Renaissance knew about and, and explored, and the era of really almost total exploitative individuality of the early Baroque, which was about to come. Um, but as I said before, I love fan de siècle characters, so, so I love Leonard Gibbons. But he's quite different than his contemporaries, um, contemporaries like um, William Byrd, for instance, who played Moschel to his, um, or Talberg to his Chopin, or Richard Strauss to his Mahler, or whatever, much more virtuosic, much more obviously composer-like, as opposed to spiritual entity-like contemporaries. Um, Bird's marvelous, but, but every canon is there to be admired. You know, I think that's, that's the difference. Mm -hmm.